IF transformer internal capacitor issue, most likely. I'm not going to turn this, I'm just going to push in. So it's aligned because I aligned this radio. It was all way out of alignment, which is another indication that the internal IF or capacitors are drifting and this being a transistor radio I have no idea um, what's in here so this is going to be interesting to get this apart this is a Philco Philco radio Philco transistors are extremely reliable I've never seen a bad Philco transistor now the other symptoms of this are um, keep in mind this has been recapped and there's no issues with anything except that transformer. So when trying to align it to 455, you can't achieve a peak on that transformer. Just turning the core basically does very little. And this just kind of one of the other symptoms. Now keep in mind the volume's all the way up. So listen. It'll get the very strongest stations but it also I'd have some piece in there and you have to get up you have to you gotta run even if you run just around your block from from my martial art, my particular sort of martial art is to. So, these in this set right now, these this is the defective area. So it shows it shows those two cans as one, and it shows three capacitors in here. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get our bingo cards out here. By phone, online, or in person. Brought to you by Bristol Myers Squibb and Pfizer. Now it's working. This is Southern California. It's only 24 hour local news and traffic station. KNX 1070 News Radio. Good morning, I'm Bob Brill, our top local story at 8.30. A bunch of businesses have been damaged during an overnight vandalism spree of the... Nature with a window shattered. I'll state my case, of which I am certain. Bad guy. Still a little deafer than it was when it was working properly, so let me get this apart and let's get that transformer out. Okay, well, this thing is all one piece, and this might prove to be extremely difficult to fix because we don't know what these values of these capacitors are. So, um, yeah, I have no clue what those values are. And you can't just say, well, they're 100. That's a myth. That might work on tube radios, but that's not going to work on a solid-state radio. Okay, well, this is interesting. So we know that one's not bad. Uh, and that one would be this one connecting them. So obviously, it probably has silver mica wafers. You can see the two snap clips there uh, silver mica wafers on both side side both side but we don't know what the value is and it's going to be very difficult to uh, trincocrinculate the spromulizer with the deliplord all barmal crinkler like it is and what I mean by that is since these, that connection and that connection, 
which are this connection and this connection, don't poke through the circuit board, I have no way to put trimmers on it. I'm going to have to get creative here. But I think the first thing to do with this is get this thing apart and see what's inside. I guess maybe the... Yeah, this is real hard to work on. This is going to be real hard to work on. So I guess the capacitor is in here. It's a mica wafer. And that would make sense why when I push down on the core, we get a capacitor. The capacitor comes in because it's just a piece of mica. You know, I don't know. This damn thing is so small. So maybe the, the ticket is to disconnect one of the wires and try and measure the capacitor. And hopefully it's good when I measure it. Okay, I got one of the wires disconnected there. And believe it or not, this is actually very accurate on these low picofarad capacitors. Now let's see. 161 picofarads. I was going to say I, I would imagine it would be around 200. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze on this and push it a few more times and see if I get any different results. Okay, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and take these two off and then pop those clips and rock it back. Hopefully I don't break that one. And there is your mica wafer capacitor. See it there? Wow. See how that is just... See how that tab right there is bent over? I can't push it, it, but the one near where my finger is. And then the one here, the tab is bent under. Let me see if I can do this. Is that my mica wafer right there? It just fell out. Um, so, okay, there are the mica capacitors. I got the clips back on, but now because the mica capacitors are missing, there's, the clips are not as tight, and so I need to work out some kind of spacer to put in there. Soldered back together. I wedged a piece of this, cut a piece of this, and wedged it in there uh, so that it's semi plum now so now the the next step will be let's measure this capacitor so this thing does not read this one so does that mean it's too small so is it like two six twenty six picofarads I don't know if this thing is bad, but I don't have anything who, which will actually read that. So this is the other side, and it's measuring 161 picofarads also. So, that's a very good indication that these capacitors are 161 picofarads, or very close to that. Now this is a bit concerning to me. I need to sort this out. So the same thing on this one. I'm going to pull the two mica wafers out. And this must be the silver they call silver mica. It's weird that the other one had two of these in it. And this one only has one. You can see there's the disease right there. See that blackish stuff where it was making contact. So the first side we took apart that was having the issues was were these two. Second side I took apart was this one. Now both sides seem to measure 161 picofarads. It's kind of odd why this. This right here is a bit, a bit of a mystery. I sent a radio TV phone on at a picture of this and he seemed to think maybe it was a 260 and that would probably uh, make a little bit more sense than you know what I'm seeing here um, 
maybe this is bad. Maybe this was the problem. I don't know if this is 2.6, 26, 260. I don't know what this is. Maybe what I'll do is I'll pull a bunch of the radio repair manuals out and start looking through them and see if I can get any idea. So you could just pinch that in there and as long as you make contact with the two sides it'll give you the value. And you can see this one is a 79 or 80. So I don't know why they use two 80s in one side and see here's where it made contact. See that? That's where it made contact and was oxidized and wasn't making contact anymore. Good idea, but just not designed to last a hundred years. So yeah, you can measure these wafers directly after you get them out. That kind of simplifies the whole project. So I'm learning as I go along here. So they show this as a transform with two adjustments. So does the RF couple through the aluminum walls between the two cores? Uh, I'm not educated enough to fully understand how this thing works. I can fix it, but um, yeah. So in that case, this could be a two point six picofarad uh, and it, it it's relies on the coupling between the two walls rather than through the capacitor I don't know I'm learning so I think the next thing is to rig that in there and put a bunch of variable caps on it and start tweaking this little hundred picofarad disc measures 92 by itself. When I touch this across it, it measures 95 and I've done that five times. So I'm going to say that's a 2.6 and it's good. All right. You know what? I'm over this. Um, spent way too much time. These are 180 picofarads, although they, they ring in at around 175 each. So they're about 10 high, which is quite a bit, but you know what? I'm done too much time. I've been digging through this for the past 45 minutes. Okay, well that one is unscrewed all the way and I don't think I've achieved a peak, which is not good. Okay, I need the alignment generator. Things like it's got too much gain now. Very annoying. Yeah, maybe I better try and get the right capacitors. It's like too much right now. Uh, capacitors are highly critical in those cans. 
I'm going to attempt to get the right capacitors. Regular capacitors only go 160, 180, so I got to get 160s and hopefully that gets rid of the motor boating. A digikey order has been placed and I think I went overkill a little bit. So I got these little micas from my local shop and I got 82 picofarads and 160 picofarads and my thought was on the side that used two 80s or whatever put two 82s in parallel and then a 160 on the other side I'm still trying to figure out what the purpose of having two on one side was that that's anyway um, these are might have been more of a pipe dream than anything else these are these were expensive too and by expensive I mean uh, a, a dollar and a half or something for each one and these are 160 picofarad NP0 and these were low ESR and low ESL now I'd never heard of ESL until I started researching this thing but series re inductance ESL is a capacitor series inductance and I guess that has to do with high frequency so one of these was for 0603 and 0805, 0805 I believe these were for microwave these were the low inductance and again these were expensive but these are so small I don't think I can do what I was going to do now these were 160 picofarad 500 volt NP0 I believe these are 5% these are 1% I don't know what these are driftomatic made in Mexico made in Mexico made in El Salvador so what flavor do we want to stick with this continent these are probably American made I think these are AE you know I could probably solder one of those in there well these are measuring and let's just forget the accuracy of this thing okay let's scrap that these are measuring in the 150s I'm just using this as a comparative tool so the little capacitor reads right on 160 so these little ones are measuring right on 160 and those are 1% capacitors that's a 1% capacitor okay this is one of those who's your daddy moments I have installed the two I think these were 0803 see right there the surface mount capacitors damn how fo how close up can I get with this camera that's impressive anyway there they are and those measured 160 right on the picofarad and those are 1% the one, the other eh, that one's not quite straight but whatever um 1% microwave ceramic capa high stability capacitors those are expensive uh, exceeds value of radio but there they are installed Okay, power is applied. It's hard to say. What do you think a judge? What do you think a judge is going to do with that? Sounds like it's way out of alignment. I hear howling too.
Not the right way to do this. See how much difference going from a 180 to 160 made, like four turns. Ooh, good. I don't hear any, I don't hear any squealing or motor boating, so let me go uh, put it on the signal generator. 455. Tuning capacitor all the way open. Fed into the antenna part. That's what they want. Here we go. Crap, we're going to do that. Oh crap, it's still motor boating. I don't know. Maybe I need to have that double capacitor in here. Actually, maybe this was all for naught. Maybe, maybe, and a lot of this type of repair is all experimentation. This electrolytic went open. Maybe. That capacitor tests good, but I bridged it. I don't think that's it. Oh, there it goes. It's not that capacitor. Yeah, it's the same thing. What a trip. It's a very delicate circuit. It might just seem like a crappy AM radio, but it's a delicate circuit and you start screwing with these capacitors and these IF cans and this is what you get. Okay, let me explain what I think is going on here. It seems like the radio is too sensitive, like the AVC is not working. You know, it's got like an AGC circuit when it develops voltage on the detector it cuts the gain, the IF gain down. And I don't think it's doing that. I think it's another problem. Maybe one of these resistors is out of spec. Um, 
I test took this capacitor and this capacitor out of circuit again and tested them and they're good but for some reason when I bridge this with another 100 it helps but it's still not right I mean it's like picking up the camera it's so sensitive Hear how it's distorted? Maybe big relations uh, on your recognition. Coming football a couple times today too. We'll also let you know what's happening up front. Who's starting at center? Who's starting? So this is that sports station. This is that sports station that's between KNX and Radio Disney. That's out of Tijuana. And it sounds clear, but listen to how loud it is. This is a very, very weak station here. So the sensitivity is super, super hot on this thing. But it's like now that the IF transformer is working, their set has so much gain that it's not regulating itself. And the game is just out of control. Okay, Mark Mozart are what LA oldies used to be. Usually I have to have the radios turned and it just Too much gain. This is our new music station. El siguiente es un programa pagado. Las I mean, the gain is just out of control. So, I'm gonna post this video. Um, I don't know if there's another problem with this radio. I'm not gonna waste any more time on it, but that's how to, should give you some ideas what goes wrong with IF transformers and maybe possibly how to fix them and have better results like this. But I have a feeling this is like, putting a new picture tube in a TV and then all of a sudden you see all kinds of other problems that you couldn't see because the picture tube was crappy. I mean, it is sensitive. Just to give this video a happy ending and verify what I was thinking, um, this is the radio right here that's motor boating and I actually had another one so what I did is I took it apart and these these uh, cans were going bad too so I recapped them the same with the uh, little SMD caps and it aligned right up and works perfect you can see how much more corroded this one is than this one um, and then I started to compare the resistors and the resistors on this one are all high the resistors on the one that's motorboating are all high and they're all good on this one so this probably is going to need some resistors that's why it's doing that or maybe a transistor is bad you are listening to city sound qu 567 am fifteen twenty. the traffic and information station broadcasting from the city of Torrance, california the most up-to-date information on traffic conditions before you...
Cool. We have a new we have a no new low power radio station here in Torrance. How cool. See how this one doesn't distort as bad. These work so well together. There's a, a center change and so Levanten el teléfono. From years ago is a good thing. Both sides are due back in court in January in San Fernando. Margaret Carrero, Phoenix 1070 News Radio. So there's the Tijuana station. Message of the song, and I think it's really nice to be able to sing a song um, that. Thousand calls and take it seriously. This stuff flies out the door on the big radio stations. Be one of the first thousand calls. I, w I don't want to take this one back apart again, but if I want it to work right, I'm going to have to. It's kind of cool with the gold transistors. So this kind of proves it. Uh, that's the AVC capacitor. So if I put this on ohms and just measure the ohms across it, it puts enough voltage there to cut the gain down. And that sh that turns the gain up so high. It's very interesting. I wonder what's going on here. So is this not developing enough voltage across here to? Ground zero. One year later, after sickness, death, and a seventy-six day lockdown. 